Let's get a star. We'll put it in. And how can you lose energy if you have a planet going around the star? You know, you think there's no friction out in space. Mercury's just zipping around in outer space. But watch this. When I roll this ball, the only way that this ball knows how to roll is by the curvature of the fabric that it rolls over. You know, the fabric is bent, 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 so it curves like that. So let's say that the planet rolls right over that square. By how that square is tilted and shaped, that pushes the ball around a little bit. But look at this. If I were to move the star, that piece of uh, square fabric is like that. If I were to move it here, that piece of fabric is like that. There's a back and forth. As this rolls around, that fabric is doing things like that. But it doesn't do it instantly. If I were to move this star, it takes a certain amount of time for that information to get out to here. It's almost like a ripple. It's almost like as if you took a rope and went like that. That wave would just like propagate along a rope. Same exact idea. If I were to go like that, that ripple would propagate out. And if I had fabric that kept on going out, you know, like a zillion miles in every direction, and I did like that, it would uh, a wave of bending space-time would go out. That wave of bending space-time is what Einstein called a gravity wave. And as when you make any wave, you lose energy. And so if you have a star doing like this, it's losing energy.